Hi and welcome to another explained video. As we know, the Subaru Impreza is a legendary car and it's well known for its rally heritage and its all-wheel drive system. Over time, many people have wondered what actually is going on in this legendary all-wheel drive system, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to explain some of the setups used in Subaru Impreza. Today, we'll be talking about the WRX and I'll be making separate videos on the Impreza STI and also the STI DCCD models. So consider subscribing so that you're going to be notified when those videos do come out. Now the Impreza has a variety of models, but the performance orientated models are the WRX and STI. It's a fact that the WRX leans more to a fast daily driver sort of car. It's missing a lot of the features and upgrades that the STI has installed but many of the parts installed on the STI will only benefit you on the track. So a lot of people do go for the WRX as a daily alternative. Now then, here I have a diagram of a Subaru WRX drivetrain. Here we have the engine, which sends power through a five-speed manual gearbox. This gearbox dictates the gear ratio between the engine speed and the rest of the drivetrain. The center diff, front diff, and gearbox are all housed in the same physical casing, but they all perform different functions. And these gearboxes are absolutely huge. They're the biggest gearboxes I've ever seen. And I know this because I've owned a couple of Subarus. Check out the video linked in the description to see how my ownership went. Now once the power exits this gearbox, it goes to a center differential, which splits the power up from the front and rear of the car. This differential is a limited slip differential and this is important because someone at Subaru would have decided to allocate extra money to that part over a much cheaper open differential and with good reason. This center LSD splits the power and it sends 50% of the torque to the front open diff and 50% of the torque to the rear open diff. These open differentials are not a problem for a car that is used as a daily. You would be hard pushed to notice, especially at the standard power levels of a Subaru WRX. But once the power does reach these differentials from the center diff, due to them being open differentials, they will not limit the amount of torque going to each wheel. So in theory, if one wheel was to lift in the air, or it was to lose grip due to wheel spin, that whole axle would actually lose drive and all the power would go to the lifted wheel. This is common on front wheel drive cars or any car with an open differential. Now this is where the center LSD is important. If that was an open diff as well, any single wheel on this whole vehicle that either lifts off the ground or wheel spins due to acceleration, that would receive all of the torque and it would seriously hurt its acceleration and handling because if one wheel starts spinning all of the power would be diverted away from the wheels with grip and to the wheel that's spinning. So that's it, quite a simple design and one that has proved to be reasonably cheap, pretty reliable although in my experience it wasn't so reliable and uh, they're pretty rugged. Um, hopefully you have enjoyed this little explain video. Let me know what you think in the comments and be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video and to see my future uploads on the other models of Impreza. Cheers guys.